We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. This is indeed a wonderful day. This is the day of the fulfillment. This is our life in Christ. And we begin this liturgy as we address our God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. In order to prepare ourselves to receive these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our own sinfulness. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Christ, the anointed one. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You lead us to lives that will be fulfilled in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
And let us pray. O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On that first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in the one who had arrived at the tomb first. And he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My friends, Easter is the great surprise. What was thought to be lost is now found. What was perceived as the end is really just the beginning. It's difficult for us to imagine the great sorrow of the disciples of Jesus. They placed their trust and confidence in Jesus, their Lord and Master. But before their very eyes, they witnessed his suffering and death on the cross. All their dreams, their hopes and expectations were crushed under the weight of the cross. And now they approached the tomb and found it empty. Immediately, there must be a human explanation. Did, did someone steal the body? What does this empty tomb mean? Throughout the history of Christianity, the followers of Jesus have professed and witnessed to their commitment to Jesus as the way in which they would share his life, his passion, crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension. St. Peter proclaims, this man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible not to all people, but to the witnesses chosen by God in advance who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. In his teachings, Jesus foretold of this event. Destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days. And at the transfiguration, remember, don't tell anyone until the Son of Man shall be raised from the dead. But of course, these statements were filtered through a limited understanding, and the disciples had little idea of the profound idea that Jesus was disclosing. The resurrection would be an event that would reshape the world and our own understanding of what truly leads to the fulfillment of life. Success in this world is not found in fame or fortune or power. It is found in the loving relationship with God through his son, Jesus Christ, whose sacrifice on the cross was the greatest demonstration of God's love for us. For if God is for us, who can be against us? This Easter, we find ourselves accompanying Mary, Peter, and John to the tomb. In, in some sense, the tomb has greater significance to us as a collective believing people today than it may have in times past. All of us as individuals have had to face the question of the empty tomb. But the recent pandemic has placed all of us in a mode of isolation or uncertainty. We have been at times removed from friends, family, and the ability to witness publicly to our God. And we have experienced the death of loved ones and acquaintances. Like Mary, Peter, and John, we are presented with a choice. In the empty tomb, do we choose death or life? Do we define our existence by human expectations? We live, we die. Or do we embrace a relationship that is offered to us that transcends this world so that we know that when we live and die with Christ, then we will live with him forever? 
St. Paul states, when Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. This Easter, the empty tomb is the pathway that leads us to join Christ in life. Through Christ, we are connected to one another. Through his love, he died for us and rose for us so that we might live with him forever. We are never alone. His pledge is to be with us always. This is the joy of the resurrection. He lives, and because of him, we too will live forever. Oh, what a glorious and happy Easter, which is ours. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask all of you, do you renounce Satan? I do. I do. And all his works? I do. I do. And all his empty promises? I, I do. do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I, I do. do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, bestow on us the forgiveness of our sins and keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Together, let us place our needs before God, our loving Father. For the church, that we may proclaim the risen Lord in word and action, giving hope to those in despair and new life to those who suffer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those whose lives are threatened by violence, chronic illness, or sudden trauma, that in their ordeal, they may be embraced by God, the source of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the newly baptized throughout the world, that their new life in the Lord may bring new life to the church and the world around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are sick and homebound, especially among our viewers and listeners, May they experience the Savior's healing and transforming power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who go before us in death, that in Jesus they may find peace and refreshment and may share his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation Parish members, including those joining us from the state of Indiana. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers we place before you, those spoken aloud, those which remain in our hearts. And if it be in your will, grant them through our Lord and brother Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable and pleasing to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but especially on this day, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops, Richard, Jeffrey, James, and all the clergy, religious, and laity everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with, all the, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we turn to one another and show a sign of peace. And our peace to those who are viewing at home. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In a special way, we want to offer uh, our thanks to Heart of the Nation for always being there to providing us with access to the sacred liturgy. Uh, to those who have helped us to pray so well uh, during uh, this Easter Sunday. Um, and always a reminder of staying close to our God and our Lord um, in a loving relationship through all this time. Thanks to our viewers, those who have created that congregation um, in our hearts and homes so that uh, we may together give praise to God. And a, a wonderful and blessed Easter uh, to all of you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, 
who made heaven and earth. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth to proclaim the Lord Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you.